to my dying day. I got the bag, I got that cushy. Yeah, these pussies wanna hate me cause I hustle, man. World, 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 world. Today, world, I'm gonna kick it about a little something, man. Ain't got nothing to do with it too much what I've been doing, you know, a little beat thing, I wanna, I wanna kick it on something I wanna call suspicious, this shit here, world world, is a little suspicious to me, I'm gonna show you why, I ain't gonna tell you, and if you feel like it's a little suspicious to you, write the words suspicious in my comments, you know what I'm saying, suspicious, take a look. Who was Magnolia Shorty? And how could this talented young girl make her way from the Tough Magnolia projects to sold out venues only to be gunned down in broad daylight? In 1995, she officially signed with Cash Money. With Cash Money Records, Monkey on the it took off. She was doing shows all over the place. Magnolia With a label backing and distributing the single, Magnolia Shorty's new track blanketed the city. Instantly, when we heard the record, I was like, you know what? This is going to be a hit. Literally five days later, the whole city knew that song and it was on. And as the song's popularity grew, so did Shorty's fame. That was a big song for her. It started like a movement, you know, everybody was doing the dance and everybody knew her voice when they heard it. It was huge. It was played on the radio every day at every party in every club. It almost becomes an anthem for New Orleans. And while the lyrics were too hot for TV, she had the whole city singing along with her. After Miss T, Magnolia Shorty was just the second female to sign with Cash Money Records. She took the male-dominated world by storm. Night after night, she would hit the stage, often performing at multiple venues in a single day. Monday, December 20th, 2010. 28-year-old rapper Magnolia Shorty is booked to perform at a concert in Miami. Against the advice of friends, she's with Jerome Hampton, a known criminal from the Magnolia Projects, who had recently been released from jail. Magnolia Shorty drives up to her gated community. The gate opens. She drives in, and another car drives in behind her, circles around her, and blocks her off. Shooters got out of the car and fired a, a huge number of rounds, presumably from uh, multiple guns, semi-automatics. It's like machine gun over and over. There was even speculation that someone could have possibly been standing on her car and continuing to fire bullets into her body. It was just ugly. Area residents, including her own family members, are startled by the loud bursts of gunfire ringing in the air within the vehicle are the bodies of 28-year-old Magnolia Shorty and 25-year-old Jerome Hampton, riddled Magnolia with Shorty was riddled with bullets, and her colleague, her associate, uh, Jerome Hampton, was also riddled with bullets. They shoot her 26 times, bullets in fact. everywhere, shell cases everywhere. It was so many, maybe they like over really under miles. Of shit. The call. Magnolia Shorty People was to know, was this a random act of violence? Or was it a cold-blooded, premeditated killing? She was returning home in her gated community. Obviously, somebody knew that she would be in a car with uh, Jerome Hampton. They knew they would be entering through that one specific site. It appears to be a targeted assassination. People immediately started asking the question, were those bullets for her or were it's they for him? It's more likely that it was Jerome Hampton who was targeted in this killing. On Thursday, December 23rd, 2010. Magnolia Shorty's funeral was a spectacular celebration of her life. A traditional New Orleans ceremony befitting the spirit of the undisputed Queen of Bounce. Fellow Cash Money affiliates Lil Wayne, BG, Juvenile, and Birdman 
were among the 1,000 friends and relatives to mourn the loss of Magnolia Shorty at the Fifth African Baptist Church in true New Orleans, Orleans style. They celebrated Magnolia's life by honoring her with a homegoing celebration. The popular Stooges Brass Band led a second line of as many as 2,000 people through the Magnolia Project. And I know everything, the way she was laid out is exactly the way she would have wanted it. But I was grieving hard. Magnolia Shorty was a celebrity. You think about the number of people who showed up to her funeral and people who supported her like Birdman and Lil Wayne. These are huge hip hop artists known all over the world. And someone who's like a sister to them is murdered, cold blooded, broad daylight. Before her promising life and career were cut short, Magnolia Shorty was hard at work on her second album. Before she passed, she really was the hottest female out with a song called Smoking Gun. It took off in the club. It was like the biggest song down The city here. that had lost a local had icon. one question on its mind. Would there ever be a break in the horrific murder case of Magnolia Shorty? She's with Jerome Hampton, a known criminal from the Magnolia Projects, who had recently been released from jail. On Thursday, November 17, 2011, just weeks before the one-year anniversary of Magnolia Shorty's murder, her widower, 31-year-old Carl Bridgewater, was shot dead. 